Now to that cyber hack targeting some of America's top athletes. U.S. officials defending them after files revealed Simone Biles, the Williams sisters, and others got medical exemptions to take banned substances. ABC's chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross is here with those details. Good morning, Brian. Well, good morning, Robin. U.S. officials are expressing outrage this morning over what they call a smear, the hack which put the private medical records and conditions of four top U.S. Olympic athletes online for the world to see. At the age of 19, Simone Biles was the pride of America, Simone Biles. winning four Olympic gold medals, making her the most decorated U.S. gymnast in U.S. history. But now the hack of Biles' records from the World Anti-Doping Agency has forced her to go public with her attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Having ADHD and taking medicine for it is nothing to be ashamed of, she wrote on Twitter. Nothing that I'm afraid to let people know. Viles was one of four U.S. athletes whose medical records were hacked and posted online, along with Venus and Serena Williams, and a member of the gold medal winning women's basketball team, Elena Deladon. The documents, apparently from the World Anti-Doping Agency, show the players had used medications on the prohibited drug list, but that in each case they had received approval for therapeutic use and had not sought to keep it secret from the testing agency. These documents prove that these U.S. athletes played by the book and did everything that they were supposed to do. It's the complete opposite of what the Russians did. In the case of the Russians, more than 100 of its athletes were banned from this summer's Olympics because of what was called state-sponsored drug cheating. And experts are now pointing at Russia and its skilled cyber thieves for this latest hack. All coming after the cyber attack into the computers of the Democratic National Committee. They're sending a message. If you screw around with Russia, if you make Russia unhappy, Russia will get into your network, find something embarrassing, and show the whole world. So, Brian, are all these hacks connected? Well, the computer forensic experts we've talked to say, yes, they are. They see certain te uh, telling details in each of the codes they use that all link back to Moscow. And they don't mind that you know it's Apparently there. not. That's yeah. the message they're trying to send, as Dick Clark said. Mm -hmm. And more coming, too. And yeah. more coming. There were several thousand overnight from the DNC that were put online. Not as explosive as the previous ones during the convention, George, but still a lot more coming. Well, it seems like all the U.S. athletes, though, they're all taking it in stride. And um, basketball star Elena Deladon was recovering from thumb surgery. When she wrote on Instagram with this picture with her thumbs up in a cast, I'd like to thank the hackers for making the world aware that I, legal, that I legally take a prescription for a condition I've been diagnosed with. Thanks, guys. Because once again, <laughs> they did nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. These athletes yeah. did nothing wrong. They played by the rules. They played by the rules and nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> did the right way. And, and Elena... Happy recovery. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's a speedy recovery for you.